Last week was all about the Yukon, an undeniably beautiful corner of Canada, but there's still more to see, so we headed south, opting to take the road less traveled, otherwise known as the Stuart Cassier Highway. Over the course of three days, we traversed some of British Columbia's most isolated areas along this 450 mile long stretch of road. We took every detour, with some being worth it, and others not so much. But sometimes you don't have to go as far as the Cassier Highway to find wildlife and adventure. This huge moose antler shed was just waiting for us as we rolled up to a completely empty campsite in town. And with a beautiful antler in back and a very wet bike ride to shake out the legs after a long drive, it was time to head into, dare I say, one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. So we're still making our way south from Alaska and we've decided to take a little detour over to Alberta today and for the next few days we're going to be around Jasper National Park taking in this crazy scenery, seeing all the wildlife, we've already seen a moose, an elk and um, there's more wildlife right there. <laughs> leaves right now the fall colors are perfection so let's get to it let's go explore Jasper National Park being the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies there is a lot of ground to cover out here we walked along the beautiful Moline Canyon and peeked over the edge down the 160 foot deep canyon drove the jaw-dropping 30 mile long road to Moline Lake built along the Glacier Valley running between the Moline and Elizabeth mountain ranges. We kept our eyes peeled for moose and elk that seemed to appear when we least expected. Back in town, we ventured out to the smaller local lakes with water so blue it honestly resembled a pool of Gatorade. This morning, we woke up at the Whistler's campground in Jasper. I know, the name's a little confusing. We're not in Whistler, we're in Jasper. This campground just recently got renovated in the last year. Wait until you see these new bathrooms that they put in. This park blows almost every park in the lower 48 out of the water uh, in terms of accommodations and cleanliness, really. Okay, well, the bathroom is being cleaned right now. It's that building right there. There's even another one right here, but that one's close for the season. But out of the corner of my eye, look at who's, look at who's visiting right here. A bull elk and like five other elks. Oh, oh. Okay, quick tour of the bathroom. That's where I came in through. These right here are regular bathrooms, handicap shower, and then two regular showers. Check this out. I just cleaned the floors. Where's the shower? Oh, the shower has that little. Okay. This is huge though. And Hey, 
You ready to go out on your cold hike? A visit to Jasper National Park has to include a drive down the famous Icefields Parkway. Dotted with more than 100 glaciers, mountains, and waterfalls, you could easily spend a couple days driving this 145 mile long road. We squeezed half the drive into an afternoon with plans to make more time on our visit next year, but we did manage to stop by the Columbia Ice Field. I think we were out there for a total of 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> only got a little bit of frostbite. Melanie's just now getting back to my fingers, my fingernails. That was the Columbia ice field. And now we're actually gonna turn around and go back up to Jasper. Because tomorrow we have a fun activity planned, which we know almost, we almost never plan things. So this got booked and planned Today. two hours ago. <laughs> Cross our fingers for a good day tomorrow. Let's head back to camp and thaw out. You ready? To go freeze our toes off. We've seen Kara, Nate, Amon, and Beck, and we're king it canoe. <laughs> and uh, Melanie has FOMO really bad. So she decided she wants to go canoe when it's freezing outside. Evan just wants to see if he can portage, but we don't have any portage. <laughs> the real success will be if we can keep this dog inside of the canoe. <laughs> Just give her a pillow and a bed and she'll lay it down. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're finally ready to go. We got uh, three paddles just in case Penelope wants to give it a go. Okay, we're off to a good start. It took us a hot second to find which kayak or canoe was ours. Uh oh, the thing's already cold. Oh boy. You're doing great. I, mean, I can see this being pretty tough for a long way. <laughs> Moment of truth, don't dump a bunch of water inside. Any final last words? Look, it is cold. You think this is a good cold. idea, huh? I mean, for a full day, which is how long we rented it for, I'm not sure. Right, Melanie's gonna try to get us in. Oh my gosh. Push it toward the... Push <laughs> Like to toward the water. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this isn't gonna work, huh? <laughs> we need to go in further. We're, we're taking off. In hindsight, we should have done this no, with the dog. Kick, kick off so we can get some momentum. That's what you have paddles for, bro. I think that's my paddle. Nice. dent in our progress. However, we just came upon a group of ducks and this one's a bird dog. So she's very unhappy that she can't go chase these birds. Ducks. Meaning I can't help her the paddle. But he's making a ton of progress by himself up right there. <laughs> he says he's sweating. Give Penelope some of that warmth because she's shivering. <laughs> which is part of the reason why she's so unsettled. All in all, I'd say it hasn't been horrible. Yes, it has. Take a look at who finally gave in. Is it because the sun came out? We're reaching our first dock. We've been paddling nonstop for like two hours and controlling. 
the beast. Has it really been two hours? Uh, I'm probably. Why I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope's never been more excited to be back on land. Okay, well, guys, this is a hundred percent not the way that you tie up a boat, but it's it's working. So it's what we're going with. We made it to our first destination and it was a bit of a learning curve to paddle with the dog on board, but we made it. I think this place is called the Family Paddle Camp. Um, it's the closest one to the beginning. It's where the families come with the little kids, the kids that can like basically paddle here by themselves. <laughs> no, we paddled for a while. Anyway, let's go show you guys around because there's a really cool uh, shelter with the fireplace inside and of course views. Oh. Welcome to Bienvenue to the Hidden Cove. There are four campsites in this cove, but this is actually, what do you call it? The Mike Wynn Family Paddle Camp. This is a, just a shelter. Let's go inside. No, he's chopping at the bit to go inside a shelter right now. It's a little now. bit cold out here. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we started, right there at the boat launch. And this is where we are, <laughs> on this little island right there. And where's Spirit Island is where everybody oh that's actually good at paddling goes. <laughs> Not in one day, oh maybe. Yes. It's a three hour aggressive paddle. And how many hours Four. are we on? <laughs> but you have your own kayak maybe. Listen, the wind is working against us today. What are these? Oh my. You don't want to look in there. I'm scared to touch the toilet seat. I could I mean, see a not, smear. It's not bad. It stinks a little. It stinks. But you got a nice view, so let's come down and check out the view. Okay, we're in the shelter. Got our bag of snacks. It's cold. We're gonna have to come back when it's warmer. So, uh. I really wanna swim in the water. You can swim in the water. Did you lock the door? Or is no, it? it's oh. not very easy. The bears will see us. I might as well do our uh, QA now. So, the number one question everyone asks us is where do you guys pee and poop? And we actually have a portable toilet that we take with us. <laughs> It's not that, uh, it's not that complicated. Inbound, kayak or inbound. Oh, wow. So we're the kayak, I mean the paddle, on the cano. It has been really fun. We definitely, like we said, have a lot of factors working against us. The wind, the cold, although that hasn't been too bad. The wind's been pretty bad. The wind's been bad. If um, we stop paddling. We go backwards. Yeah, immediately. Um. And on top of that, well, because of the wind, we both need to be paddling but many times. The dog decides that she wants to meander all along the canoe. So the I have problem. to stop paddling. And every now and then, uh, I don't know if we're set up right where I'm in the front, Melanie's in the back, I don't know what's the best way. We're gonna switch going back, although then Maybe. going back, the wind is in our favor, so everyone's gonna be like, this is so easy. It's hard work. We're planning to be spending our summer in Canada, in BC, and Alberta. Probably mostly BC, just because that's where the mountain biking is. Oh, are you joining the party? Dude. What's a common question that you get? Does Penelope ever get tired? No. What's that thing on her neck? Or GPS collar. <laughs> is her name really Penelope? <laughs> that's not a question, but yes, but we call her Nelly. Is she food obsessed? Yes. Now she licks the table. So much. Is she a German short hair pointer? Not a Dalmatian. Yes. Onward to Evan wants to drag the canoe through this like tiny shallow uh, channel. Like there's like full waves forming and can crashing. Yeah, that's how it's been the whole time. <laughs> she just hasn't been able to see them in the back. In the front, they almost come up over the, the bow. Is that what it's called? Bow? Uh, bow. I think it's a bow. A bow? All right, Melanie's extra tough's coming in clutch again here. We made it. We just 
decided to switch spots. I'm at front, Evan's in the back now, and uh, things are not going well. We've been trying to get off of this island, third circle. this island, for at least 20 minutes. Now that we changed and I'm back in the front, Melanie's in the back, we're starting to get our groove back and uh, making a head headway, if you and want to call it that. The and the sun's coming out, which is... Evan uh, has a goal of making it to a buoy. It's, it's, it's orange. It's a little closer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You can't really see it on the GoPro, but yeah, I think we can do it. And then we're going to head back and uh, like cruise. Yeah, yeah. We got to start paddling again. Sorry, bye. Getting closer. Devin's home stretch of paddling by himself. We had a goal of making it to this buoy. And I'd say we made it. My arms are jello. I'm going to get off on this beach and have another snack. This water is going to the little thing has called it, called it a day. We made it. Take the gloves off. Oh, oh. This life jacket is very restricted. Oh, the sun came out and you can leave me here now. Jasper has to be one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. The Moline Lake, it just keeps going. Like the views, the views don't stop, I don't think. Sure, it says four mile. I'm not sure if we actually paddled. This picnic site has bathrooms. Melanie said they're really nice, so I'm gonna go check them out. Just like this. And uh, you just look around, make sure there's no uh, bears and you let it go. Oh, hey, Nelly. It does appear as if you do need to bring your own toilet paper, so FYI. Like the weirdest looking stick out here. Comes to our next question, is this place real? Everything about this little beach right here just is way too postcard perfect to really make you question. I don't know if this is real. Close are we? Uh, I don't know. Just yonder? A couple knots. Is that? <laughs> I don't think. I think that's speed. No. How do the boat people? Mm. I think we got probably about a mile and a half left, and uh, we're a little tired. The high winds and uh, wake that we had to fight on the way out has now turned to nice calm waters so we're still having to paddle quite a bit don't worry this is in regular speed this would have been 10 times easier on shore only, uh, only portage of the day I, I don't get how they like just throw it on how do you think I think if you take your life jacket off, it might be easier. I just don't get it. How are they doing it? We're a solid minute into this. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the way to go. And then you, and then you like pop, yeah, yeah. 
I the first one. Oh my god, careful, you're on rocks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Go. You're getting there? Are you trying to get to the next one? Got him in the line of <laughs> It's on! <laughs> now we just have a short walk. Alright, technique technique probably improves that. <laughs> we only need to get over here. <laughs> wow. Right, Imagine up. if you had to set it on the bottom one. Whew. We made it back to the van. That is it. Obvious already. First things first. Tinder. That was so much fun. I'm so happy we went out there. We're going to be really sore. Or I'm going to be super sore. So we decided to get pizza for dinner and we uh, wanted to see how Nelly was doing back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, long day on the ocean or <laughs> on the lake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't make fun of you. I'm sorry. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see us actually canoe to the end of this lake and back, with Penelope during this next hour? Send a motor. Send a motor.